the right car for you and your dog can be tough, especially when you've got a Great Dane. So I asked a bunch of Great Dane owners what kind of vehicle they drive so we can get an idea of what the right car might be for you. Nancy took out the second row of her Toyota Highlander and put in a carpeted platform so her dogs could stand tall and both look out the window. Michelle traded her SUV for a minivan so her dogs could get in easier. Here are her babies in her Toyota Sienna. Walter loves riding along in his Subaru Forester, especially when he can lean against his dad's headrest while driving. Here he is on a road trip from Minnesota to California. Samantha and her kids like riding with their Dane in a Jeep Cherokee. Amanda's dog rides along just fine in this Toyota Camry, but I'm not sure if the window ever closes. Andrea's Great Dane loves riding shotgun in the Cadillac Escalade. Like a lot of other Dane owners, Miriam's pup sits in between the kids' booster seats. Her ride is a Silverado pickup. And for those of you who think big dogs need big cars, meet Amanda and her Dane, Callie, who ride around in a Fiat 500. She says it's her dog's favorite thing to do. Amanda's Fiat is a stick shift, but makes it pretty complicated. Cassie's Tesla Model X is sporting two Danes today. Gianna takes her Dane in her convertible Camaro. Check out those goggles. Of course, Danes love a Jeep Wrangler, like everybody else. Sophie's babies love her Toyota Sequoia. This is Gray, Gray the Great Dane. He's got a pretty print situation in a specially outfitted Chevy Suburban. Feel free to check him out on Instagram and his very own blog, graythegreatdane.com. Kyla loves her Dodge Caravan that she shares with her pit bull. Cassandra and her Dane share this Hyundai Elantra. Danielle and her family recently upgraded to a Hyundai Palisade. With two car seats and two dogs, they needed the extra room. So as you can see, Great Dane owners drive everything from the small Fiat 500 to an enormous Chevy Suburban. So when it comes to what you should drive with your dog, it really depends on you.